We're talking to Jack Gibson from the Bay Area Thrash Institution, Exodus. And we're going to ask him the question. If you could go back in time through the history of rock and roll, put your hands on and play one guitar, one immortal guitar, which guitar would that be? Who did it belong to? What was the hero? What music came off of it? Which guitar would that be? Well, that's a good question. Um, huh, that's a, that's a very good question. In a room full of guitars, you would think that would uh, jump right out at you. I mean, there's so many, um, like there's so many there's so much potential there. Because it to, goes to your own personal inspiration. It would be it would be Geddy Lee's Rickenbacker. Yeah. The, uh, maybe either the red one or the the double neck with the with the guitar, you know, and the, and the bass. I almost bought one of those on eBay for four grand like a couple of years ago, and I like I didn't quite have the four grand, and I almost did it anyway. And I kind of regret not doing it, but I think that would be it. Uh, Which song do you think he immortalized on that Rick and Bob? Yeah, on that guitar. Oh man, La Vila Strangiato. It's probably the probably the one. Um, although, like, I think my probably my my favorite is uh, um, Red Red Barchetta. Um, is you know, like the moving pictures is my favorite and. Like a lot of people think he used the Fender on that album, because in the picture he's got the Fender. But I found out that he did use the Rickenbacker on that album, and they took the picture with the Fender. It's what I've recently found out. So I'm glad we finally had somebody pay homage to the great Canadian Rush, having lost the immo the immortal Neil Peart. Oh man, it's a bad day. <laughs> and Getty Lee and I share a birthday. Oh, do you? Do you? <laughs> So we're very aligned on that awesome, one. Awesome, awesome. And Getty Lee just released his book last year, The Big Beautiful Book of Bass. Yes. In which he, in the back, acknowledged Thanks me you. for in inspiration, yeah, which was, I'm have... Canadian and uh, those I guys agree. are my bros. I mean, it's such an honor that uh, they love my book so much that uh, they used it as an example to I, go by. I, I love it. And I, I actually got that book and I went and saw him uh, at the book signing. And uh, and he actually in Nashville he did a like a question and answer uh, thing with a couple of the former producers of Rush, and uh, it was it was killer. He was so great, and it was so nice. And then he signed everyone's book and shook everyone's hand, and he was he was killer. It was great. A class act all yeah, the way. Absolutely. Thank you, Jack. Absolutely. Appreciate your time. You got it. You yeah. got it. Thanks for asking.